Hello everyone, this is George from F5 Dev Central, and we're back with another video tutorial. Today we're going to be walking through how to do a LTMV installation on VMware ESXi. So first thing you want to do is go to f5.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and in the bottom left hand corner here, there's going to be an icon to download the free trial edition of Virtual Edition. We go down here, we'll, we, there are two types available, we're going to use the ESXi one today. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my F5 credentials. Then I'll want to generate a registration key, which will be email, email me to me here in just a few moments. Go ahead and type in the caption. And we're gonna just request one key today. And go ahead and go through to download the trial. And we're gonna go to virtual edition. read the EULA and then accept and we're going to download the VMware ESXi OVA file. This is already in a nice templated format that we can just directly import into ESXi but while that's downloading we'll go ahead and um, move on to ESXi. So Next thing you want to do is fire, fire up your vSphere client. This this whole tutorial implies that you've probably already got ESXi up and running. This is just how to get um, LTMVE running afterwards. So from here we're going to go to File, Deploy, deploy OV, OVF Template, and then we are going to browse to our downloads, select the Big IP OVA template that we downloaded earlier, and click Open. Now within this uh, template, it has a lot of the, the provisions as far as like what what um, memory is required, how large to make this, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and accept uh, the agreement next, and then we'll go ahead and call this one um, just to make it consistent with my other LTM I have on here. Test LTM VE02. Next and. You can choose either one. We've got plenty of disk space here, so I'm going to go ahead and use the thick provision format, and then click next. Next, what you're, next, what you're going to want to do is uh, assign your um, networks. If you need further information on this, Jason actually has a full tech tip that I'm going to post at the end of this that explains how to lay out all the network connections for ESXi and how to plug them into LTMVE. So these actually look good for what settings I'm using right now. I've actually got my one of my external VLANs on the same. Um, virtual wire as my management network, um, even though they're actually two separate networks are on the same physical connection. Click through and go ahead and click finished. That'll take just a few moments here to go ahead and deploy the template. Alright, now that our template's been deployed, we're going to go ahead and go over to our new LTMV, and we're just going to power it on. You can watch this process proceed from the console. And it should come up here in just a few moments. Alright, so now that our uh, LTMV edition is finished booting, we're going to go ahead and proceed with licensing the box. So we can go ahead and log in. Root and default are the default username and passwords. As we can see, it does not have a license right now. So we need to go ahead and run the config utility to see what the IP address of the machine is. Right now it's set to the default, which is 192.168.1.245. We're going to go ahead and leave it there, which is um, fine for what we're doing. So. And now we're going to browse to our um, new virtual edition instance using a web browser. We're going to connect to 192.168.1.245. And here we're presented with a normal Big IP login screen. It's admin admin. And the first thing it's going to ask us to do is ask us to do is go ahead and license the box. So whenever we uh, downloaded our virtual edition earlier, we should have received an email in our inbox, and inside that email is a license key. And now we're going to 
paste in our registration key. I'm going to click Next. And then we'll go ahead and break out to the F5 licensing server, copy our dossier, paste our dossier in there, click Next. Read through our EULA, agree to the terms, click Next. And finally we'll get our license file. So I want to copy all of that and paste it into the second field in our licensing dialog on the big IP. We'll go ahead and click next and we'll wait a few moments for the um, big IP to reboot and apply the license. Alright, we'll click continue and then since this is just an LTM uh, we're going to not do anything with the provisioning, just click next. And then you can go ahead and uh, title your unit however you'd like. In this case we're test LTM V02 and we'll go ahead and leave the default username and passwords the way they were. Now I'll go ahead and log back in. And we'll want to go ahead and um, configure some VLANs, so we'll go ahead and do the basic um, install. So we'll assign our self IP address of 10.0.0.1 and slash 24 netmask. This is all uh, dependent on what kind of environment you're going to be using this in, but in ours this will work just fine. And then we we'll want to configure also an external VLAN. port lockdown on and click finish. So now you have a fully licensed and functional LTM VE edition running on um, VSXI. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helps you get it running in your environment.